Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be a step-by-step -step guide for doctors who want to train to become a surgeon in the UK. After MBBS, doctors normally do a two-year foundation program. During the second year of the foundation program in FY2, you can apply for core surgical training. Core surgical training is for two years. During these two years, you need to sit for the MRCS. After core surgical training and MRCS, you can then apply for higher surgical specialty training in your desired field. For example, vascular surgery, plastic surgery, urology, general surgery, and trauma and orthopedics. The higher surgical specialty training is normally for five years. During higher surgical specialty training, you need to sit for the FRCS. Do note that for cardiothoracics and neurosurgery, there is another route as well, which is the run-through pathway. This means that for these two specialities, you can also apply directly after FY2. You don't need to do core surgical training first. The program length is still the same, which is 7 to 8 years. Starting from 2020, there will be a run-through pilot improving surgical training IST post being offered. It is a run-through program for general surgery, urology, vascular surgery, and trauma and orthopedics. Uncoupled IST post will also be available. For the next part of this video, I will try and answer some of the commonly asked questions regarding the surgical pathway in the UK. The first question, is there a fee for specialty training? No, both core surgical training and higher surgical specialty training is free. You will be working for the hospital while you train. You will also receive a monthly salary and the salary is more than enough for you to live comfortably in the UK. The next question, do I need any surgical experience prior to CST? It is desirable to have some surgical experience prior to applying for CST. Try and do at least two to three surgical rotations in FY1 and FY2. This will be enough. You don't need any more surgical experience than that to apply to CST. Most FY2 and FY1 posts will have surgical rotations in them. For example, I did a urology rotation for four months and an ops and gynae rotation for four months during my foundation program. And both are considered as surgical experience. The next question, how exactly do I apply for core surgical training and higher surgical training? The application for both is centralized. You apply via the Oriel website, just like for all other specialty training programs. The next question, what higher surgical speciality can I pursue after CST? There are lots of options after CST. After CST, you can apply for higher surgical specialty training in vascular surgery, cardiothoracics, general surgery, neurosurgery, maxfax, otolaryngology, pediatric surgery, plastic surgery, and urology. The next question, how competitive is CST? The competition ratio for CST last year was 2.93. This means that 1,896 applicants applied for 648 places. Just for some context, the competition ratio for CST is higher than GP and internal medicine training. So it is more competitive compared to other specialities like pediatrics, general practice, internal medicine training, and even ops and gynae. I will leave a link for the competition ratios for all the specialities down below so you can have a look as well. That is all for my video today. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!